Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome on this World Heritage Day, Victoria Memorial Hall. Right at the outside, apologies for this delay. The uh, excuse that was being offered to all the people waiting here was the doctor is on his way. The doctor was on his way and the doctor is here now. So uh, we can start proceedings. So without wasting any further time, I would like to request Dr. Jan Tushengupta, Curator and Secretary of Victoria Memorial Hall, to welcome the audience here. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and a very happy Good Friday, and a very warm welcome to uh, this evening's celebration of World Heritage Day. Uh, we thank the weather god that we can bid you a warm welcome, and not, not a rainy and wet welcome. Uh, so, thank God for that. <coughs> now, we celebrate the World Heritage Day each year and this year the special theme is the heritage of commemoration, which is about remembering uh, <coughs> and uh, celebrating and memorializing things. So, we thought that because remembering, honoring, celebrating and making it to memorials, is sort of built into our DNA. Uh, I have seen Indians memorializing and commemorating everybody, you know, from Madhuri Dixit to Karl Marx and everybody in between and beyond. So we thought, why not do, why not link this up with the other, uh, you know, other pet love of ours, which is also built into our DNA, which is the willingness to make arguments, because as Amartya Sen reminds us, we are also by nature argumentative, we are argumentative Indians. So we have assembled together some of the finest specimens of argumentative Indians amongst us to debate and argue the case for commemoration whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. And it's nice that we can uh, make these arguments here in the Victoria Memorial, which is about commemoration, which is the ultimate commemoration of somebody like Queen Victoria who had never been to India in the first place. And it's nice to make these arguments in this building made by Lord Carson, who loved many things, including Indian art and architecture, but argumentative Indians were not something that he loved. So it gives us a nice opportunity to irritate the holy ghost of Lord Carson without the fear of losing my job. So without further ado, uh, let we, we all look forward to hearing these arguments about the culture of commemoration, the heritage of commemoration. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, please join me in welcoming our distinguished guests who will be very soon introduced and uh, thank you very much again for being with us here uh, this evening in spite of this being a holiday. Thank you very much. Very much, Joanto. In spite of the apprehension of uh, the ghost of Lord Carson being uh, irritated, I would like to assure you that uh, if the irritation does happen, then the first speaker for the opposition will see to it that the course is also calmed, and that is Sujata Sen. She is presently the director, East India, of the British Council, in which capacity her works covers 13 states in English language training, partnership with schools and higher education institutions, arts and creative economy, young people and sports through premier skills, examination services and library information services. Before joining the British Council, she has been a journalist, columnist, and a publishing editor. A holder of honorary positions in various organizations and trusts, she also currently leads Reimagine, India-UK cultural relations in the 21st century, a research and dialogue initiative which attempts to understand what the relationship between the two countries will look like in the future and how it can be shaped for mutual benefit. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Sujata Sen. And Dr. Jointo Sengupta already said that this is a kind of iconic edifice of commemoration here. And Sujata Sen, in her capacity as director of the British Council, is also 
acting as the catalyst bridge between this museum of commemoration and several museums in the United Kingdom. I would like to next introduce a person also who is going to speak against the motion. Generally known in academic circles as the Devanand of the academic world, and you will soon know why when he comes up to the stage. Professor Surendra Munchi is a leading Indian sociologist, a former professor of sociology, Indian Institute of Management, Calcutta. He has taught in research in India and abroad. He was the academic head of an international project on good governance that was supposed, uh, supported by the European Commission in which several European institutions of higher education took part, including the London School of Economics. The outcome of this project has appeared as a book under the title Good Governance, Democratic Societies and Globalization. More recently, he has co-published yet another book on this theme, The Intelligent Person's Guide to Good Governance. Frequently invited to national and international conferences, he delivered a keynote lecture in 2012 on democracy at the 16th Karlsruhe Dialogue of Karlsruhe Institute of Technology. Last year, he participated in the Forum 2000 conference in Prague, where he moderated a panel on good governance, whose participants included, among others, Ansan Tsuki and Frederick Wilhelm de Klerk. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Professor Surendra Munshi. Professor Surendra Munshi, when it comes to debating or his columns, also dares to bear dares to bear, in another sense of the term, one of his recent articles on the editorial page of the Telegraph, dared to question Suchitra Sen's decision to stay a recluse, and also dared to say that after all, she is not a very big actress of big standing. So, such is the conviction of Professor Surendra Munchi. I would now like to introduce the third speaker for uh, against the motion a blend of tradition and modernity striking a very good balance a leader in the field of school education for over 40 years Srimati Devi Kaur is a director and secretary of modern high school for girls Kolkata she is a founder director of the modern academy of continuing education MACE as is known in short which apart from offering a variety of courses, talks and workshops, runs a teacher training course in collaboration with the University of Calcutta. She is a president of the Teachers Centre Kolkata, member of the Educational Task Force, Bengal Chamber of Commerce and Industry, member of the Round Table on School Education, constituted in 2009 by the Ministry of Human Resource Development Government of India, and member of the executive boards and advisory committees of a wide array of institutions ranging from Patabhavan, Vishwabharati, through the Billa Industrial and Technological Museum to the Calcutta School of Music. She has also served on the scholarship panels of Mahindra and Mahindra India and Ford Foundation USA. In her own words, she is not a debater, but she enjoys a good argument as a very good argumentative Indian and when Devi Kaur starts arguing, ladies and gentlemen, let me assure you, not only all the teachers of modern high school shut up, but also her adversaries. Please welcome Mrs. Devi Kaur. I would now like to introduce the first speaker speaking for the motion. His first film was called Shunno Teki Shuru. And starting from that point, his achievements have been meteoric. Ashok Vishwanathan is one of India's noted filmmakers and theatre personalities, a mathematics graduate from St. Xavier's College, Kolkata, and a postgraduate in film direction from the Film and Television Institute of India. He has been active in both film and video media as a director, screenplay writer, actor and presenter, having directed more than 150 films and television programs. He has also been teaching as assistant professor and head of the Department of Direction at the Satyajit Ray Film and Television Institute and a visiting professor at Film and Television Institute of India, Pune, and at the Department of Cinema and Theatre, Tufts University, Boston, 
Department of Film Studies, Jodhpur University, and Department of Film Studies, St. Xavier's College. He has won several national awards and international awards and recognition, and his films have been shown at the Commonwealth Film Festival, Manchester, and several other international film festivals. So let us welcome Ashok Vishwanath. While Ashok is taking a seat, I cannot resist the temptation of sharing an anecdote with you that a theatre director of some eminence went and rang the bell at Ashok Vishwanathan's place, apparently we were told, and senior Vishwanathan, Professor Vishwanathan, his father, who was also a wonderful debater, uh, opened the door and this person asked him, is Ashok in? And he was told, yes. And the person asked, may I see him? And senior Vishwanathan said, I'm afraid not. So the person asked him, why? And he said, because there is a film he has made and actually some people have understood it, so he is very depressed. I would now like to introduce the next speaker speaking for the motion, Dr. Kunal Sarkar, by passion and profession, plays around with hearts of human beings, both men and women, the only roadblock coming in the form of some resistance by the Home Ministry. He is an avid debater and founder member of the Calcutta Debating Circle. And you have seen him featuring in every debate in the city that is worth the name, with his photographs flashed all over the newspapers. Wherever he finds some time off from debating, he does this playing around with the hearts once in a while. Which, ladies and gentlemen, is good enough to make him the President-elect of the Indian Association of Cardiothoracic Surgeons. An alumnus of St. Xavier School and Calcutta Medical College, where he received the gold medal in surgery, Dr. Sarkar was subsequently trained in cardiac surgery in England. He is a fellow of the Royal College of Surgeons, a faculty member of the Imperial College London, and is currently the senior vice chairman of Medica Super Speciality Hospitals and also the leader of the cardiac program there. And he is known for using his legendary surgical precision in dismantling the arguments of the debaters in the opposition. And I can only add that when Dr. Kunal Sarkar starts speaking, all the members in the opposition have their hearts in their mouth. So Dr. Kunal Sarkar. The third speaker for the motion is Pradeep Guptu. Pradeep Guptu, an alumnus of La Martinia School and Presidency College, was resident editor of Business Standard for 10 years before he proceeded on Liam to set up a business newspaper in Dhaka, which is running successfully today. He has also worked in corporate strategy and communications, first with the late R.P. Goenka and then with CESC. Pradeep is director on the advisor board of a major global foundation working in the field of logistics in India, as well as advisory editor of two English language magazines published from Kolkata. An active social worker and Rotarian, he is trustee of NBCF, a 10-year-old welfare organization in Birbhum district, and multiple rotary welfare projects. He, with Dr. Kunal Sarkar and Dr. Sandeep Chatterjee, are founder trustees of the Kolkata Debating Circle, and debating remains their great love and passion. Such is their skill of debating that a person like Pradeep Gupto can easily cross the floor. Today, if the moderator asks him to speak not for the motion but against the motion, he'll be only too willing to do it. Why did you think that only politicians cross the floor, debaters do too? So please welcome Mr. Pradeep Gupto. Last but not the least, the moderator for this evening, Mr. Utpal Chatterjee, currently editor India of Leaders, the global journal headquartered in New York. Mr. Chatterjee is one of the most acclaimed of Indian journalists, who was until recently the Honorable Sheriff of Calcutta and its first citizen. In a career spanning nearly four decades, Mr. Chatterjee has worked for the Amrita Bazar Patrika, the Independent, the Times of India, and Durdarshan done his fellowship in journalism from Oxford, has been a South Asia expert for the BBC, and has interviewed 18 heads of state, 9 Nobel laureates, 
and traveled with three Indian Prime Ministers as part of their retrospective, uh, respective media delegations. Times, the way they are nowadays, he also is distancing himself from all these leaders or traveling with them because times are not good for traveling with politicians at the moment. He has also twice covered the US presidential elections as well as the first and last open election in the erstwhile USSR during the tenure of President Mikhail Gorbachev, whom he also interviewed. His interests include books, cinema, theater, sports, music, and public speaking, and his passions include social welfare, a couple of villages that he and his friends have adopted, and the cleaning and greening of Calcutta. May I please ask you, ladies and gentlemen, to welcome Mr. Uthpal Chatterjee, the moderator for this evening. And if he were to someday decide to commemorate all the achievements that he has had so far, I'm afraid it will take a decade to cover all of them. Last but not the least, before I hand over proceedings to the moderator, we have a timekeeper too for this evening. So I would like to request Ms. Shumaya of Victoria Memorial Hall. She's a coordinator of the activity club of the Victoria Memorial Hall. To please come up and keep time and take a seat beside the moderator. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, I hand you over to Mr. Uthpal Chatterjee to take you through the rest of this evening. And hopefully, we'll have a very exciting, encouraging, argumentative, and perhaps a decisive debate. The Honorable uh, Curator of Victoria Memorial, uh, Dr. Shane Gupta.